hi guys welcome back to 21st century tech today we are going to talk about a uh, obd2 scanner and this is a vgate icar pro scanner uh, this comes with uh, some uh, two-year warranty and also this has three variants one is for bluetooth 3.0 and other one is for bluetooth 4.0 and one is for wi-fi uh, because uh, some ios devices like uh, iphone is not compatible to bluetooth 3.0 and because of that you have to take blue bluetooth 4.0 or wi-fi device if you are willing to use iphone with this tool actually this is a really nice tool and it is cheaper and this is still compatible to most of the obd2 protocols so i think most of the new cars and like uh little bit all the cars are compatible with this tool and the scanner so it is really simple and a very simple and effective device let me take it out and you can see there are some some summary of the features here but i think that is that is not relevant uh so let me take it out actually you can see uh this one is a wi-fi device so uh let me take it out and you can see it is really lightweight and uh, it is a transparent device you can see inside there are some indicators which will lit when you plug the device into your car let me see what are the other contents in the box so i think there is a small booklet which contains your um, basic instructions how to connect to connect this device to your computer or your phone and how to pair this device to your phone so those are the simple information here and this is a device so you can see it's really nice so i'm going to plug this into my car and see how do you read codes and how to how do re to how do i reset them using their application uh their, their recommended application which is talk you can simply download it using your uh, Google Play. So I'm going to plug this device into my car. So let me plug this. And you can see there are some indicators when I'm plugged in uh, yeah, right there. So you see it is working uh, because of the indicators there. Uh, now it's time to turn on my car. You have to turn on the car and connect your mobile phone to this device. So then only you can read the codes. It, it will connect to your ECU and get the call from there. So you have to turn on your car. Then only you can read the codes. So uh, let me show my mobile screen to you. And uh, then you will understand how, how you can pair this device and get the calls to the mobile. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is the device. This is a mobile. So you have to open your Bluetooth. And you need to find something called VGate or VLink. So I'm already I have already paired it. So Bluetooth pin is one two three four. You have to pair the device first. Then you will uh, see device see that device in the paired list. So after that you need to go to the uh, application uh, which is Talk, and you can see. When you open it, you can see there are some indicators on the left hand top corner and there is a car indicator. You have to wait until that car gets steady. If it is blinking, it, it, it is not connected to your ECU and there are some other settings you need to verify. Go to settings and you have to select the connection type as Bluetooth or Wi-Fi according to your device. So once you connected that, once you selected that, your car is getting steady and you can go to fault codes and read your fault codes right here if there is any fault code in your issue it will show up right there and and simply you can save it to another device or you can you can scan the code i mean you can search that code on internet from here or you can export the code list to to a log file so it is simple as that there are a number of features that you can use this device so uh, i have only used to scan the codes you can see real-time informations like your um, 
engine temperature throttle gauge and everything so guys uh, just uh, if you if you have anything just comment to our videos and like to our videos also don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have anything we will help you regarding this tool so i'm going to use it and let you guys know how it works and uh, guys let's see in the next video peace